The inquiry heard harrowing evidence of how contaminated American blood products led to the deaths of nearly 2,000 British haemophiliacs, of how the trade continued even after the dangers became known, and how the survivors are now coping with the consequences of being infected. This is sweet. Mark Harrison and his wife have much to look forward to. Her first child is due in August. But in trying for the baby, Mark was shocked to discover that a blood transfusion 26 years ago had infected him with hepatitis. I'm quite lucky. I didn't have, have uh, a lot of symptoms. I, I get very tired, uh, fatigued. Uh, I do have a few aches and pains. Um, but hepatitis C is, varies a lot in different people. In 1973, British doctors had begun treating haemophiliacs with a new blood plasma product called Factor 8, bought from American blood bank companies. But the imported batches came from the blood of high-risk donors, including drug users, prison inmates, prostitutes and homeless people. Hepatitis and later HIV got into supplies. The effects were devastating. 4,670 British haemophiliacs were infected with hepatitis C. 1,243 of them also contracted HIV. 1,757 have since died. The blood products were particularly a problem because they were made from very large batches of, of donated blood, perhaps 10,000 donors. So there was a good chance uh, that, that uh, there would be one of, uh, or more of those uh, people um, that, that were infected and therefore the whole batch of the uh, blood product would be infected. One of the most worrying aspects is the way the doctors and health chiefs decided not to tell patients about the known risks. Campaigners say that cover-up effectively condemned many haemophiliacs to a death sentence. Paul Brennan, Sky News.